Hey everybody, welcome back to another cost accounting problem. Today we're going to be focusing on the allocation of manufacturing overhead. Before we get into it, remember that we're doing this in Excel. So you have your key inputs here in orange and the answers are going to be marked in blue. So you remember what you're solving for for the problems. That's very important for cost accounting problems. Now let's get started. Self manufacturing company uses departmental cost driver rates to allocate manufacturing overhead costs to its products. Manufacturing overhead costs are allocated on the basis of machine hours in the red department and on the basis of direct labor hours in the blue department. I underline that because it's very important for the problem. You need to understand that these two departments are allocating their manufacturing overhead differently and that's going to be reflected in question number one. The information for each of the departments can be found right here at the top here. Each department has a certain number of direct labor hours, machine hours, direct labor costs, and manufacturing overhead costs. We'll get to this information over here when we get to question number two. So let's look at question number one real quick. What is the manufacturing overhead cost allocation rate for each department? Well, to find that out, we have to solve for that rate using the allocation basis for each department. And remember here, it says it's going to be machine hours in the red department and direct labor hours in the blue department. So let's set that up here. Our cost allocation base here in the red department is going to be machine hours. In the blue department, it's direct labor hours. So our manufacturing overhead costs in the red department are going to be this 540 right here. Manufacturing overhead costs in the blue department are going to be this 250 right here. In the red department, we're allocating it based off of machine hours. In the red department, we have 120,000 machine hours. In the blue department, they're allocating based off of direct labor hours. Blue department has 50,000 direct labor hours. And to get this rate, we're going to take the costs and divide it by the cost allocation base to get a rate. In this case, the red department is $4.50 per uh, machine hour here. And the blue department is going to be 250,000 divided by 50,000 to get $5 per direct labor hour. That's how we're allocating manufacturing overhead in each department. Again, the question is, what is the manufacturing overhead cost allocation rate for each department? And we solve for both of those right here. Now we're going to need this information to solve question number two, which is, what are the total manufacturing costs of job number 1996? Well, total manufacturing costs are going to include direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead, which is going to be applied to the job. So let's take this and input our information here. The direct labor costs and direct materials costs here are really given, but we'll put them in here. So the direct materials costs for red, 350 here. Direct labor costs, $150. What about for blue? $150 and $550. So each of these jobs uses the resources a bit differently. For, for the job total, we're going to add each of these lines here. And now comes the part that we need to use for question number one, which is we got to apply the manufacturing overhead from each of these departments. And again, they're allocated based off of different rates here. We got 450 in the red department and $5 in the blue department. And the red department's on the basis of machine hours, blue department's on the basis of direct labor hours. So let's take this cost allocation base here for the red for this job for the red department. It's going to be machine hours, it's going to be 60 machine hours. And we're going to multiply that by the cost allocation rate of $4.50 to get $270. Let's do the same thing for blue, except we're going to be using not machine hours, we're going to be using direct labor hours. And we're going to be multiplying that, those direct labor hours by the cost allocation rate that we saw for above. And we get 270 applied for the red department, 350 applied for the blue department. We'll add those up here. And the total cost of the job is going to be, once again, direct materials plus direct labor plus applied manufacturing overhead, which we took the time to solve for. $1,820 for this problem. 
Again, this is a great problem to set up in Excel. We've set everything up here with the orange being the key inputs. This will kind of change. This will be the information you're given from the question, and everything else here you can just use a cell reference for, and you can create your own problems. Good luck.